For nine-year-olds, Hopeness and Sienna, helping others is a no-brainer. It makes you feel good and special because you're doing it. And it makes me feel like that, like, sometimes if, if you help other people in need, it might come back to you. The girls are among 200 Year 4 and 5 students from two local primary schools who have been busy making items for pets in need. Because uh, they don't have things and it's like winter so they might be cold and get sick. So we made dog blankets, placemats for their food and uh, bandanas. Those goods are going to animals in foster homes like this dog. The need for temporary animal care is rising. Many domestic violence shelters don't allow pets and reports of family violence have surged during the pandemic. Perpetrators of violence do use pets as a means of control and um, especially if someone has left in, in a rush in the last minute and the pet's left behind, then the person might threaten to harm the pet if they don't return or, um, or get rid of their pet. The school program developed by Playford City Council is a chance to deliver those animals some kindness. It also delivers benefits for the kids. Children from Category 1 schools that get access to opportunities that are different to ordinary school can sometimes navigate their way to a more positive future than they otherwise would have had. That includes discovering their creativity and developing lifelong skills. Team building, teamwork, problem solving um, and yeah, definitely confidence in social skills. And having fun while they're at it. Sarah Tomevska, ABC News, Elizabeth.